Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Saturday, July 6th, our scripture is found in, this, uh, in 2 Corinthians 12 chapter, verses 2 through 10. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And I know that such a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. Was caught up in par into paradise and heard things that are not to be told. That no mortal is permitted to repeat. On behalf of such a one, I will boast. But on my own behalf, I will not boast, except of my weaknesses. But if I wish to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it, so that no one may think better of me than what is seen in me or heard from me. Even considering the exceptional character of the revelations. Therefore, to keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given me in the flesh. A messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord about this, that it would leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore I am content with the weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for the sake of Christ, for whenever I am weak, then I am strong. Anti-hero. Whenever I am weak, then I am strong. Verse 10. The Bible is filled with unlikely heroes. Abraham, Moses, Jeremiah, Amos, all the way up to Peter, Paul, and Mary times three. Some, like Jacob, may even count as anti-heroes, fighting, fooling, and being fooled, pursuing and prevailing. Like deceptive Jacob dreaming of angels in Genesis 28, former persecutor Paul recounts a heavenly vision that gave him otherworldly knowledge. In the end, we are shaped by our flaws, imperfections, and an ability to escape on our own. As Taylor Swift sings, with an I I ironic twinkle in her eye, I'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. Paul might also resemble Swift's lyric, It's me. Ha! I'm the problem. It's me. In the middle of this mess, God shows up. When life takes unexpected turns, God is present. When we are humiliated by failure, God is there. And so Paul concludes, So I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Verse 9. Our prayer. Gracious God, we believe. Help our unbelief, especially when we rely only on our own power. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.